I feel like a lot of us stumble upon minimalism do so because we are ready for a change. Something in our life, our home, is in need of a change. And that's always a beautiful start. But then we start looking into it and being a minimalist, there is just so much information out there. And we're now in a world where everyone has their way of doing it. And we can sometimes cling to that way, their view of what minimalism should be. And I won't lie, I share mine on here. Only in hopes that it inspires someone out there. But sometimes you, the other person on that side of the screen, starts to fall victim to decluttering things that someone else says you should. All of us social media minimalists have our 15 things we don't need or 30 things we've decluttered. And those are great. It's always great to try someone else's perspective or approach out. You might try it out and it, it works for a little bit, but the problem with this is that you can't fully replicate someone else's journey towards less. You only start to look at the things, what can I declutter? What are some things that someone else has decluttered? And you don't really know the reason why you want to de declutter those things. You start to see, ooh, that's, that's another thing I can get rid of. But I really feel like this journey needs to be a lot more personalized. It needs to have, it's, you, you have to have your own reason behind why you want to do this. You've got to have your own defining moment. You have to come to a place where you're like, I know what isn't bringing me joy and I know what I want. And I want to get rid of those things that are no longer bringing me joy. And I want to find space for the things that actually do bring me joy. And without doing that, I don't feel like you can do this for the long haul because sure, you can get rid of a lot of stuff. You can get rid of a lot of things that someone else said you don't need, don't need no more. But what's going to stop you from getting those things again? What's going to stop you from missing all those things that you got rid of because, I don't know, someone else said, said to and not because you actually really wanted to? Because we're going to keep accumulating things. That's just the nature of who we are as humans. And whether that's the same thing that we just got rid of or whether that is something new that we want to bring into our house, into our life. It's just to be able to have that perspective and that understanding of what you actually do want your home and your life to look like and what you don't want it to look like and being able to have that new perspective that you've developed because you spent the time thinking about how you want your life to look like that is what's going to keep you doing this for the long haul but it's not always easy to find your reason or your purpose of why you want to have less and so here are a few things that i think that will really help if you are struggling with that write down what matters to you. So if it's your family, write that down. If it's your work, then write that down. If it's taking more vacations or having more experiences, write those things down. If you don't know what actually matters to you, how can you know what to get rid of in order to have more of what you actually want? And I think that a lot of us don't spend enough time doing that. I, I can say I don't. I don't spend enough time writing down the things that matter. And not just writing it down, but just really thinking about it. We get so wrapped up in our daily tasks and our daily routines that we don't always stop and ask ourselves, what brings me the most joy? How can I have more of it? What makes me happy? How can I get rid of the things that don't? And if you do that, if you write down what actually matters to you, it's a lot easier to see the things that don't. The things that don't matter to you, those are the things that are easy to get rid of. It helps you just not second guess everything, not second guess getting rid of something because what if I might need it? What if someone else says like, why did you get rid of that? Because you have had the opportunity, you've, had, you've sat down, you've given yourself the chance to say what actually matters to me. And when you do that, it's so easy to get rid of anything that gets in the way of that. The next thing is write down what consumes your time. And aside from cooking and cleaning and all that, what, what consumes your time? Maybe, maybe it's even your, your brain. Like maybe you are always focused on what's going through your head and you're stressed out all the time because you're constantly worrying. Like write down what's consuming so much of your time. And when you can do that, you can figure out what are the things that are getting, getting in the way of not only just having more free space, but having time for the things that make you happy that's your family that you want to spend more time with, what takes you away from them? Are there commitments in your life that you're saying yes to that you really don't need to, but you are, you know, you struggle with people pleasing like a lot of us do. And you're saying yes to those things, but you can't spend time with your family, but you know, you're kind of stuck in both worlds. You're worried about disappointing your family and then you're worried about disappointing whoever you said, yes, I can do whatever too. And I've also shared like we bought this house 
and I know that the essence of owning this home occupies my mind. Like the things that need to get done. Like if there's a leaky toilet or something needs to be done outside, I have to do that now. Like I can't just call a landlord and say, hey, this needs to be done. So I know that now this is occupying my mind because I own this thing. And I've already shared as well, like, I don't, th I don't regret that. I think it was the best move that we could have made in that moment, like giving our kids a, a place to call home, giving our family a place to call home. But you might be bringing in things into your house or into your life or new hobbies or whatever that you're not extremely passionate about, or you just buy or get because someone might have told you that it might be helpful, but now the maintenance or the worry about that thing or keeping up with that thing is occupying your mind and taking you away from something that actually makes you happy. The goal is not always just happiness though. You know, I, I know that life isn't always just happy. Like, I don't think that's the goal. Like, I, I, I feel like we should all want the balance of life, like the good and the bad. So you can't appreciate the good without having some bad in your life. Everyone has bad and that's okay. But I think if you can start to identify things that in some ways are self-inflicted or things that we're bringing into our life that are taking away even more from the opportunity to have a little bit more joy, then those are the things that are easy to get rid of, easy to say no to. And it's, and it's hard sometimes for other people around you to accept that, and that's okay. And you have to kind of be okay with people not accepting your decisions. And that's something that's not always easy because we have peers, we have family, we have all kinds of people that have their opinions about how we should be living our lives. And I'm not out there to change that. I really don't care. You shouldn't care either what people think about you or what, what, what you're doing with your own life. Thing is, everyone's gonna have an opinion. But at the end of the day, when you can really start to define what matters to you and how you will be okay with whatever your life looks like because you have intentionally thought about it and designed it in a way that I am gonna live a life that makes me happy, makes me at peace. I'm gonna live, I'm gonna create a home that makes me feel calm, that makes me feel destimulated, that makes me feel less cluttered. You don't have to worry about what anybody says because you have taken control over your own life. And I, that's what I would want for anyone that I come across. Like, I want you to be able to live your own life and be happy with that life and having less helps with that. And if you've identified something that isn't bringing you joy or making you happy and you're gonna get rid of it, if you're struggling with the idea of that, write down a pros and cons list. Like, what's the pros of getting rid of this one thing? And what's the cons of getting rid of this one thing? You might even write down so many cons, you're like, you know, I probably shouldn't get rid of it, and that's okay. But I would say the majority of the times, if it's something that's getting in the way of what you want in your life, in your home, and you write down a pros and cons list, you are likely gonna see that there's a lot more pros to getting rid of it, and it makes the decisions just so much easier. So that's just a little, nice little trick to use if you're, you know, wrestling with certain things. And once you, once you do this a few times, you're not gonna need to do this all the time. Like, you're gonna have those quick decision making, and feel a lot more comfortable with, with making a decision quickly about the things that you wanna get rid of in your house or in your home or in your life. So if you've written out a list of all the things that you wanna get rid of, all the things like, then you're like, ah, oh, it's off my chest. But you gotta still get rid of it. You gotta get up and do it and take the thing out or whatever. Write down a time or a day or give yourself an actual clear time frame of when this thing is going to be out of your life or your home. So when you do that, it makes it more real and allows you to see, okay, this is when this thing is gonna be gone. I've committed to myself that this is what's gonna happen and I'm going to either donate it or I'm gonna sell it and it will be out of my life and out of my home on this day. And there's so much, I don't know, there's so much joy and fulfillment when you can know when something's gone because right now you might take an account of your entire home and there's a lot of stuff. Maybe you've never decluttered before and you're excited when you write down all of these things that, that gotta get out of your house. But then you get overwhelmed because like, how am I gonna do this? When am I gonna have the time to do this? But take some time and thoughtfully write out when you can get rid of these things, when you can actually realistically do this. And when you do, 
you can feel a little bit more peace like it's already done because you've taken that time to plan and you know that you're gonna get rid of this stuff. Like I've shared in a few different videos like willpower and ambition to do something and drive, it comes and goes. And it's good to jump on jump on it when you have the ambition or drive or the like, I really wanna get this done right now and you have the energy, but you're not always gonna have that. And when you don't have that, it can be kind of depressing because you're like, man, I really just wish I just liked to do this, but you're not always gonna have it and it's okay. So write down a time frame and commit to that. Promise yourself that you're gonna do, you're gonna follow through and you'll be so surprised at how much you accomplish with that. So you're not always gonna need to do this every time and you're gonna start to do this on the whim. Like it's just gonna happen naturally in your head as you continue. You're not gonna need to write all of these things out. But it's good to do a couple of times and once you do, you'll get that you'll get that habit of just going through this process naturally in your head. And you'll start to find the reason why you actually want less. Not because someone on social media said it, not because someone else came into your home and said it, but because you want less. Because you you were able to see what is getting in the way of the joy and the life that you want. And you'll start to have a little bit more say and control over your own life. And that's and that's what I want for you guys. So kindle your own fire, come up with your own reason and purpose for your minimalism journey and journey for less. And I will see you in the next video. Love you guys.